Those born on this day make a quite make a quiet impression at first, but one can nevertheless feel the force submerged in them. If an April 17th person is yet unaware of his or her power urges, it will only be a matter of time before some crucial incident in life brings these to the fore. Those born on this day may be deeply interested in philosophy or religion, for powerful ideas often attract powerful people. They may also seek to ally themselves with strong individuals and institutions. For them, everything that is established of a social creature, I'm sorry, of a social nature is to be defended and served to the fullest. Yet they also despise bullies. Uh, Tammy is a bully, or used to be, <laughs> and will seek to bring down those who abuse privilege or position. Oh, we know. <laughs> We know uh, Tammy will lay hands, will whoop ass, for real, for real. Woo, who else did she used to, I know she got into it with Mika. Oh my God, uh, she was about to fight Jennifer that time. She was about to fight Evelyn. Oh yeah, Tammy don't play. Those born on this day, born on this day made themselves come from quite humble backgrounds but never forget their roots remember when she you know jennifer didn't know what a food stamp was and tammy got upset honey okay so i think she has some financial um difficulties when she started the show because kenny he wasn't paying the child support Ain't that crazy? You can get with somebody that got that a whole bunch of money and they don't want to take care of their kids. That is crazy. So April 17th, people cherish their willpower and sharply reasoning mind above all else. They have a kind of shrewdness or cunning that will lead them out of the most difficult situations. In this respect, they are immoral. So they must beware of lending their energies to unscrupulous or underhanded endeavors which will eventually catch up with them, no matter how high they rise. More highly evolved April 17th people put their power directly in the service of others, particularly those weaker and more vulnerable who cannot protect themselves. Unevolved April 17th people may be carried away by egotism and greed. A desire to indulge the pleasures of the mind as well as the body can become all-consuming pursuits for some born on this day. Learning to be less possessive by giving up material possessions from time to time will be an important lesson for them to learn. I think they had some time with that. Um... Actually, every individual born on this day should be aware of selfishness, especially in the name of family, where it passes as filial or parental responsibility. Eventually, these individuals may come to realize that they are part of one human family and find a realistically helpful role relative to human good. April 17th, people take themselves seriously, perhaps too much so. They have to remember to laugh at themselves from time to time to discover a lighter side of life, perhaps cultivate pastimes. They should also be less judgmental. It is very important for them to live and let live, and the sooner the better. Oh, honey, they read you, Miss Tammy girl. Okay, so let's jump right on in, honey, and get to the next person birthday. Jennifer got my daughter birthday, September 17th, September 17th, Virgo, Virgo, September 17th. Strengths, persistent, tenacious, undaunted, weaknesses, conservative, fixed, heavy. Yeah, look, I'm I'm the mother of September 17th. I, yeah. <laughs> um, advice. Judging others may be your worst habit. 
Try to be more accepting. Make times for fun. Goofiness and silliness are nothing to be afraid of. Get out of the way and let others come through. Um, Jennifer, it just kind of seemed like, you know, we could tell she's very materialistic and she likes nice things and she likes to dress and, and Virgo likes to do it big, honey. Don't I know it. Um, they're very picky about everything. Everything has to be a certain way or they just, they get so fixated on, on things being a certain way. And you got to kind of bring them back to reality. Like, hey, wake up. You're going to have to do it like this. You're going to have to work with what you got. Okay. So that's what I noticed. Um, undaunted. That means unafraid, undismayed, unalarmed, unflinching. That take me to when Malaysia threw that damn table and Jennifer did not move. Jennifer do, honey, honey, Jennifer is, is strong. She's re very resilient, okay? Because Jennifer been through it with these damn men, not discouraged or frightened, Okay, so that's good. That's good. That's a good way to be. Tenacious. Tenacious, not easily pulled apart. Okay, persistent in maintaining or seeking something valued or desired. Okay, she is conservative, fixed, heavy. That, that's interesting heavy i never use that heavy definition let's see what it says weighty hefty big large it's another way Burdensome, considerable, cumbersome. That's probably all that pouting that they do. <laughs> okay, fixed. You know what fixed is when you're fixated. That's what I said. Remember I said fixated. See, I told y'all I'd be knowing what I'm talking about. It's like a fixation with... You know, just even with how Jennifer is planning her damn wedding. Oh, we're going to spend over 250. You about to spend over a quarter of a million for one damn day with a nigga. It don't look like it's going to work out with, but okay. And it's just very like superficial. As long as I look good, as long as everything is like this and I have it my way. And girl, you need to find the right man. You need a dating coach. Because I don't trust you, Jennifer. And I hope my daughter ain't signing up for your foolishness or we going to have some problems. Okay, so, the, um, and just, um, just to let y'all know, I was just at the mall with my daughter. And guess what she shows me? Some $700, $800 phone. I'm like, shit, you ain't getting it up over here. <laughs> Nobody paying all that for no damn phone. Shit, the motherfucker better walk, jump. Better, <laughs> it better be able to feed you, do a whole bunch for that much shit. Okay. All right. So, although it may take them many years, they seem to like it that way. They are not only capable of building a career and attaining stature, but also managing to stay on top for some time. Those born on this day are heavies, difficult to get around and even more difficult to suppress. Ooh, that, that mean, honey, Jennifer, honey, that's why she ain't never left this show. Okay, she ain't never let them, you know, run her up off the show. Once their course is set for an objective, no matter... How high or humble, they are virtually unstoppable. I can attest to that. Because I told y'all I had that one conversation, honey, and homegirl got it together. 
And I saw, you know, a lot of that on Basketball Wives with Jennifer and these ladies because she's been bullied the most. And you would think that Jennifer would have been quit. You know, I think she should do something else with her life. I don't think it's a positive environment anymore, if it ever was. But um, you got to give it to Jen, right? She didn't let them, like, run her off and, you know... She stayed the course because she really went through it. Um, once, okay, so we already said that. Although they can be very enthusiastic, for the most part, high seriousness and commitment colors practically everything they do. Facing obstacles and overcoming them is par for the course for seven, September 17th people. They are not typically ones to cross opposition with a lightning blow, but rather wear their opponents down with relentless applied pressure. Uh, pressure. They themselves operate very well under high-pressured situations and are rarely prone to nerves or a fatal lack of self-confidence in critical situations. It follows that they can be relied on to perform in difficult and trying times. Although they can be creative, most September 17th people are physically tough, admirably stubborn, left-brain, logical thinkers. They organize their thoughts consequently and reason that if A is true, then B must of necessity follow. Those born on this day have a strong feeling for justice and a fair settling of disputes and will not only insist on being treated fairly, but also on being recognized for their accomplishments. Not surprisingly, September 17th, people can make excellent lawyers or arbitrators. Generally, September 17th people favor the status quo, although they may work for gradual change to better existing institutions. Even the most radical people born on September 17th will eventually find their place in, in the establishment. Perhaps this is due to their feeling for structure, literal expression, and dislike of order and anarchy. Those born on this day can often be found on the side of con on being conservative, a conservative who values the preservation of living things and folk traditions. And September 17th, people have a strong sense of humor. I never got that from Jen. They are capable of doing the most ordinary things in a centric way. Usually they are not as serious as they seem as an if in relaxed company can be a lot of fun. They do not reveal this side of themselves. But they will be spontaneous sometimes. However, so particularly those who work with them may never see it. And they rarely go out of their way to impress, shock, or attract others. They are highly self-contained, having little need for the kind of adulation or nursing that could leave them vulnerable to the vagaries of human whims and feelings. Yeah, we don't see Jennifer doing all that crying and screaming like Evelyn. For them, emotion is a serious thing and not to be expressed at the drop of a hat. I know that's why... I Therefore, when they say I love you, the words can carry some significance. Y'all remember that time, season three, when all the women were shocked that Jennifer was crying over Evelyn? That's when Evelyn heard Jennifer call Chad a media whore. And everybody was so shocked that, like, you know, Jennifer was just so devastated, you know. And that's kind of what that reminds me of. All right, so we are done with Jennifer. Okay, we have August 12, 1980. This is Malaysia. Her strengths, knowledgeable, faithful, serious. 
weaknesses, tyrannical, superior. Ooh, cha. Is that why she threw that damn uh, table at Jennifer? I didn't like that, Malaysia. I did not... I didn't like her doing all of that. I felt like after a while of her being there, she was trying to be too cool with Shawnee and, you know, Evelyn and, you know. Okay, so tyrannical, exercising power in a cruel or arbitrary way. That damn table. I knew it. I knew it. Where to get off of me? Put that damn table down, Malaysia. I'll tell you. What to get to? Okay, those born on August 12th are keepers of tradition and an intent on asserting themselves. Um, the advice the book gives her come down occasionally from your ivory tower and mix a bit with your fellow human beings. Learn to share and to accept, and most importantly, to relax, laugh, and have fun. Be aware of the strength of your disapproval. Me meditation. Perhaps there are no accidents. Um... Okay, hers seem a lot shorter than the other ones. August 12th, people are also aware of the power inherent in timeless rules and laws, yet only the less highly evolved types born on this day stubbornly insist on following tradition blindly. More highly evolved August 12th people build on tradition and culture in order to blaze new trails, innovate, make technical improvements and generally advance themselves and those close to them for them tradition is a living entity it lives in them and in their work the lives of august 12 people are often live at a frenetic pace undeniably drawn to precarious situations their energy can easily get out of balance Thus, they run the risk of health breakdowns, wearing others out, particularly mates, family, and friends. Their colleagues may begin to resent their assumed infallibility. Indeed, August 12th people are capable of arousing jealousy and animosity of all sorts and even may become may come to be regarded as snobs or tyrants. I know after she got that money from that man, she was acting, feeling herself, honey. I used to like Malaysia them first couple of seasons, and then she began to change. I think she began to find herself. She began to be more independent, and I think that man did not like that. I think she was somebody that was... I think she enjoyed being married. It's just he couldn't deal with her being famous, you know, and that's what's really sad. But I don't know if she should come back to the show now that I think about it, because that damn Brandy ain't going to act right. Brandy going to get annoying. Brandy, I notice, gets annoying as hell and clingy as hell when Malaysia is around. But that's my friend. But that's my best friend. So what? Okay. For many born on this day, becoming less aloof and dropping a hierarchy of values concerning people will be a major step in their evolution toward higher spiritual values and true humanity. Okay, hers was kind of like quick. All right, Malaysia girl, I like you. Because it was kind of like brief. I'm not leaving a lot. I'm not giving y'all everything. Okay, just what you need. Just what you want and what you need. Absolutely. Okay. May 21st, Brandy, single wife, female. Strengths, undaunted. Okay, just like um Jennifer, that was one of her strengths. She didn't been through cancer, been through a lot. Jason cheating. She's courageous, successful, weaknesses, e ego is, what is it? Egotistic, uh, okay. I, don't, I look like y'all got it spelled the wrong damn way. The damn book spelling shit the wrong way. Get that girl shit out of here. <laughs> 
invulnerable stress. Uh, Brandy looks stress. Okay, following Malaysia around. I don't care enough to do too much with her. Okay, so she probably gonna get a few sentences. I mean, I'm just saying, listen, we only got so much time for the basketball bullies. Keep a close watch on yourself, examine your motives, learn to accept the help of others, and be vulnerable occasionally. Attend to small tasks as well as great projects. Rem remain polite and kind. Rest is important. Meditation. We see much, observe little, and perceive less. Okay, so uh, those born on May 21st not only have a far-reaching vision, but also the tenacity to hang in there no matter what. We see that. I wonder why she stayed with that damn Jason. She gonna try to say on the episode, yeah, and if he cheat again, I'm leaving and I see women. Girl, you ain't going nowhere. You ain't went nowhere this damn long. Evelyn was just looking at her like, girl, you ain't going no damn where. I was like, Brandy, sit your ass down. Okay, because, girl, you act like Jason is your lifeline. So, yeah, she ain't going nowhere. And I'm not about to be reading her birthday all like that. Okay, I'll just do a little bit. I told y'all just a little bit. But, Brandy, she's a Gemini. Yeah, that's Gemini, May 21st. She seemed like a Gemini, an annoying Gemini. Some Geminis are cool. Some of them are cool. Let's look at the lady that created the show, the executive producer, Shauna O'Neill. Shame on her husband for trying to get the people for their money. That He want millions of dollars to build a mega church. I was like, ooh, child. What did they have? Was they church destroyed? I saw something on online. Did their church get destroyed or something? They trying to build something new. Keon out here begging like the rest of these niggas. Don't y'all ever see these people while you driving? They have signs and shit. I be wanting to put my damn sign up. Need help now. Okay, shit, I want to join you, shit. Okay, I'm just saying, I get some people may need help. You know, I feel like he should start a GoFundMe or something, but all this begging child. And then, honey, um, y'all think the people go giving money for the church? They may do it. I wouldn't give him shit. Because Shawnee trying to keep the basketball bullies going. She need to recast this show if she plans on keeping it. I would get rid of Evelyn. Which she probably ain't going to do. Brooke can go. Hell, bring the one girl back. What is her damn name? British. British. I knew it was what it be. British is pretty. I like British. Um... You know, just mix it up. I just feel like Evelyn, when she come on, it just, she sabotages the show. It's like Candy. Remember how Candy kept coming back to Housewives, sabotaging it with these crazy ass storylines and child, just, you are declassing the show. Okay, November 27, 1974 is Shawnee Henderson's birthday. Weaknesses, rash, rebellious, frustrated. Shit. Oh, and she tried to bring that. I could have told Jackie, thank you for your service. You ain't going to do shit. And y'all don't have a show without Jackie. The shit go get canceled. Because all of y'all boring. You boring as hell, Shawnee. Okay, it's something about you that I used to like. Maybe it was your business mind and you not jumping on tables and you being able. But you was always a mean girl. Okay, y'all always used to be with the shit. I remember how they was uh, coming at Gloria. Um, strengths, quick, intuitive, impulsive. Advice, control the hurricane inside you and guide its power constructively. Try to understand yourself a little bit better. Don't be afraid to ask for help or forgiveness. Yeah, because Tammy need to, what? 
she need to, well, she ain't got to forgive you because you still doing the same dumb shit. But Shawnee does not have no loyalty to nobody but Evelyn. I do not like that about the show. It just, it takes the integrity out of the show if there ever was any, but it just isn't a fair show. Then, And Shawnee, like, I don't know. I felt like they were trying to have Shawnee on the show to fire Jackie and to do this big climax, child, bye. You need Jackie. You don't have a show without her, uh, Shawnee. Okay? Um, those born on November 27th either generate excitement or are drawn to exciting situations or both. They are quick on their feet and an electric quality seems to permeate their endeavors those born on this day can be extremely impulsive and rarely stop to ask themselves if they hit it on on to the correct course often their intu intuitions are correct but they can also get themselves into plenty of hot water fast and actually her birthday is like right before my child's father's birthday his was the 28th hers is 27 i hope she ain't like him november 27th people often strike others as nervous types both internally and externally they seem to be constant rapid motion they are capable of exerting tremendous energy in order to meet a deadline, therefore are excellent additions to a work team. They also they also have, have an instinctive feeling for what their co-workers need, both technically and emotionally. Oh, is that why you showed up to that last scene? And y'all saw how she ditched Tammy. Once Evelyn came back, just it ain't no loyalty to nobody but Evelyn. And for this reason, makes them excellent bosses? I don't think so. Although, as a non authoritarian type, y'all excuse me, I'm saying words I, honey, rarely use. They tend to rebel against restrictions placed on them and are likewise uncomfortable in roles. Ooh, do you hear that, Pastor Keon? Where they must discipline others. Shit. Absolute freedom of action is their primary requirement, and only those who understand this are able to live with them in harmony. Frustration is evident in any November 27th person who is tied to an inflexible lifestyle or rigidly moralistic partner. Such frustration can burst forth suddenly in fits of impatience and temper. Anger is often a serious problem for those born on this day, whether overtly expressed or hammered down inside. In the latter case, such emotions can easily turn to depression and feelings of low self-esteem. I wonder, did she go through that when Shaq was over there doing all that damn cheating? I read her book, so yeah, he put her through it. The highs of November 27th people are str stratospheric. Now, y'all know damn well I'll never say that word. I'm over here struggling. <laughs> Have you ever been somewhere, maybe at school, and y'all got to read out loud, and you be listening to people like, damn, shit. Do your mother ever read to you? Okay, do you need help with your homework? Shit. Be seeing people talking all type of shit to me. I see how they read and shit. I be bringing the shit up later. You old illiterate bastard. <laughs> and the low, huh? And the lows, I don't know, child. Okay, and the lows, catastrophic. That don't even make sense. Ugh. Usually, however, those born on this day do not swing back and forth. Oh, I'm not saying that word. Way too big. A good or bad person lasts for some time. However, it is very difficult for November 27th people to stay with a situation that is clearly not working for very long. And thankfully, their up-tempo periods seem to be longer-lived. 
November 27th, people can do surprisingly well in family situations since they love children, animals, and make their homes comfortable and secure. They are happy, happiest when they have both this stability and the freedom to roam as well, an unlikely combination. Unfortunately, because of their non-authoritarian attitude, they may feel more comfortable in treating their children as friends or siblings. That's kind of how she comes off with her kids. Um, This can cause real problems for those children who feel the need for a strong father or mother figure and have to look elsewhere. Well, goddamn. <laughs> Violence is a theme that that figures prominently in the lives of no, uh, November 27th people. Either they are prone to violence themselves or inexplicably call it up in the environment around them. Yeah, like hanging with Evelyn. Learning to even out their energies to deal with upsets and upheavals in calm, troubled waters is a great spiritual challenge for them. Okay, so we did enough of her. Okay, I'm looking at that weakness, rebellious. Yeah, basketball wise, is basketball bullies is very rebellious. Very. Okay, y'all just doing whatever y'all want to do. And it says her birthday is the day of electrifying excitement. I'm like, Jackie, you ain't wild. I wish you was wild. <laughs> Y'all know Shawnee is dry as the Sahara. Okay. Some of what I like about Shawnee is she owns like dispensaries for um the the weed honey. So I like that about her. And you know, she has a great business sense, but she needs to get off this damn show because she's just way too biased. Way, way too ghetto for me. I, I never liked Shauna. Her or her nostrils. I can never liked her. Get rid of her and that damn Evelyn. The nerve of those ghetto bullies. Get that shit out of here. Honey, and I am done. And Shawnee was a Sagittarius, you guys. And I can't believe her birthday is right near my child's father, honey. I hope she ain't nothing like that, all of that. Like, going out in the winter time and shit, they saying, stay at home, stay at home. He, yeah, I gotta go, I gotta go to the studio. Like, it's a normal fucking day. And when I tell you he used to drive in the winter, you know how you scared and shit, it's slippery and shit outside, it's snow and shit. You know, a regular, normal person be scared. Oh, no, i never forget, not her father. He was going right through that shit like it wasn't nothing. I said, ooh, child, Tasmanian devil, honey. All right, just going through the damn snow like it ain't nothing. <laughs> Ooh, child. But anyways, honey, I am done. I think I got all the basketball bullies. Okay, so I will check you guys out in the next video.